Good job. So the original plan for day two was we were actually going to do like a little bit of a float tilla. All of us were going to go up to the top of this special river that Nate loved to fish and we were just going to float down together and just have a good time catching fish. We get in this convoy of trucks and start going up to the put and I'm looking over the, over the, uh, out of the window of the truck while Marlon's driving and as we start heading up river I noticed that this river that was already about the width of the rafts started losing these little tributaries like within the first mile that we started going up the road. We realized it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and I'm like Jordan we gotta not do this dude. Like this river's way too small. There's no way we can all fit on this section. So I ended up just hauling butt like using the truck to like catch up to Lonnie and get in front of him and basically tell him like dude we're gonna bail. We're gonna float this lower half of the river and try to do something different. I mean, it would be fun to all hang out, but it's there's going to be lots of dudes that's not even fishing problems. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So just time it right. Because we just because if, if in my truck, we it's off like you guys are off the water at noon and we're right here. We're no, not. Yeah. I'm not no. gonna row out. We'll, we'll take. We'll take so. our time. Okay. Okay. Here's the plan. We're gonna go way the heck up on this river and send one, and we're gonna go way low on this river and send one and see what happens. You fish this river quite a bit, like your whole life, or what? Pretty much. Pretty much your whole life. Yeah. So he's kind of showing us the ropes a little bit, but me and Jordan have never been on this lower section. We're just going to go down there and see what happens. And these guys are going to go up and see what happens. And let's see what happens. Divide and conquer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is day two on the Oregon coast down in Southern Oregon. Wish us luck. Rally, rally. Southern Oregon. <laughs> They're going to be. Tell you what guys, if you're looking for a legit, a legit rod holder system, I think Yakima nailed it with these. They're amazing. We're loving them. We got them on all of our trucks. The guys over at Yakima Racks, who were, is one of our new partners now, they were gracious enough to let us borrow this Ford Ranger for this trip. This is their Ford Ranger build that they did at SEMA. They got the road shower on it the Yakima Topwater, the Yakima Real Deal, and Sean is gonna roll some sick B-roll of the Yakima SEMA build right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain going through that the whole time. And we can probably walk up and fish it if we really want. How long have you got a rope you got? Yep, let's run down there. Balls. This is going to be an adventure. So what are we doing? Uh, well, we just saw the river for the first time and our put-in is blocked by like 100 yards of rocks, like two feet apart. It's a lot lower than what we expected. So we're gonna walk down river a little bit and just try and rope these rafts down over the cliff. We're gonna just find a trail, hopefully a deer trail or something, and rope them down. So it's going to be a long day, I feel like. My back and shoulders are gonna be feeling it. Sucks for those guys, we got all the prawn. Oh! <laughs> Always getting to work, what you do to get down to the technical yeah. stuff. Got two rafts heading down right now. And hopefully we've got enough guys and no tips broken. <laughs> One, two, three. Yours? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I got it, I got it. Got it? I got it. Yep. 
lay on. Ready? In route. Definitely out of our element a little bit. Just a new area and whatnot, but the water looks dialed. Tight water the way we like it. Yesterday we adventured in some uh, bigger water, and so a little bit out of our neck of the woods, but. Talk about one extreme to the other. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Going from a lake out to here we go to the creek. today then a suspended bead set up on the other same addicted fixed float on each rod but two different setups completely I'll show you guys those as we get them ready here one thing I'm gonna do today because I'm using that 20 pound test is I'm gonna add a little barrel swivel to my line and connect a lighter leader to that because we're fishing a new river I don't know and what I don't want to do all day is lose my precious addicted fixed float so I'm gonna add a little barrel swivel to my leader to that 20 pound bumper that I have here and then I'm gonna add a smaller piece of like light line like a like a you know a lighter 12 pound fluorocarbon to the base of it so one that if I do get snagged I can break my my jig off easy enough and for two is to make it so those fish can't quite see it as well throughout the day here What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's go with the old fashioned 12. Go with about a foot and a half so I can fish some of this shallow stuff. Changed my mind already. I'm gonna go with white head. I'm going blue tail. You never quite have the setup correctly unless you got a little bit of rust on your hook. That's how you know the, the jig's got mojo. He's been around the block. This is an experienced jig head. It's seen some fish. It's seen some live action. Ooh, that's the one. That's the one, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. That's not the one. I take it back. That wasn't the one, everybody. There is the one. No, that's not the one. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Right there. Probably rig up a fixed float, eh? Doing it. Double fixy. I'm going double fixer. I'm going one with a bead set up, one with a jig. I'm gonna do the same thing. But I'm doing a little inline, inline save my float, as I call it. I like little, it. Little piece of... So this is what happens a lot of times out there, addicts. Is you, as you can see, we're completely changing up our setups from one river to the next because now we went from a river that was a little bit more inward on land that had a lot more water volume had dams on it controlling it glacier to a coastal stream that's like hasn't seen water in probably what nine ten days jordan yeah and it's gotten low it's gotten really really low so what we're doing now is we're getting rid of our sliding float setups with our inline weights and we're going to switch to a to a fixed setup we're going to get a lot more subtle just not much on your setup to hopefully <laughs> trick some of these fish into biting because when the water gets low and clear like the steelhead aren't as dumb as what people think now there is going to be the bitey ones that are just going to grab right out the gate but then there's going to be those ones that you need to to have that extra five percent to help you catch fish so that's what we're doing we're going to rig up some bead setups which i'm not going to fish because i hate beads and we're going to rig up some worm and jig setups we're going to catch some steelhead i could swear to god i could see him swimming We see some fish kind of rolling on the other side of the bank and we end up spending literally like an hour or two like trying to catch these fish that are rolling on the other side of the bank. And finally we send off down the river and the goal is going to be just to search, just to look for fish, fish quick. The water was low and so we knew when we landed on them it was going to be good fishing. So we were just going to work our way down and fish as fast as we could. I'm already glad we came down here. This just seems fishy. Look for wakes a lot today too. You know what I mean? 
as we're see. as we're going down these brush lines look for the fish moving around because you'll be able to see them in these slow spots but i bet there's a lot of fish hanging out in this stuff Move, uh, drain 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 look at how that water has like a blue tint to it oh there was one huge one too really yep big darky a big darky all scarred up Damn it. Maybe just flip it down here. It was only one. I think you could get out there and probably get some casts in there. I'm just gonna go right back up and hide behind this tree and you can freaking place a couple in there. See how much, I mean, he's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> it's just on the edge of that little back, Eddie. See him under there? A dark line right from like the last stick. Straight line. In here? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah. Damn. Those are some moves. We should have got him right there. That's some good looks. Is that him right there moving up to the right of that? Oh my God, look what I just did. I can see him moving around in there. Is he right in the center of the freaking current? That's what happens when you're like trying to find fish and you're not paying attention. I don't see him. I didn't see him at all, dude. We blew him up, maybe? Up into the I other log? He was just underneath that log the whole time. We're into the fish now. We saw one. Saw one darky. A little confidence, though, I guess. I mean, just that we saw a fish in this, like, water that's, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good sign, like. That's not a bad sign, Sean. It's not a bad sign, America. I started going down river kind of really fast. You know, I wasn't letting Marlin get cast into a lot of stuff. I was looking in the river, trying to find and visually see fish to know if we were wasting our time or not. And we had no way of knowing how far we were gonna, you know, how far we had to go that day. We never floated that section of the river ever. And the plan was to just get picked up at the end. We didn't even leave a shuttle rig down at the bottom. Um, and so we were kind of, you know, second guessing our time, second guessing how much we fish in certain spots. And as we cruised down the river, we eventually came to like the fourth hole of the day and uh, pretty much ran into the mother load. So as me and Jordan are going down, we're just fishing quick. We finally get into this hole that's pretty deep. I bet it, would it was 10, 15 feet deep. And Jordan makes his first cast in there after we set anchor and his bobber just, I mean, it's berries. That was 100%, dude. That went under so perfectly. That was a fish. Oh my. Oh my God. I seriously have goosebumps right now. What the hell was that? How'd you miss him? I don't know. You were only that deep. Oh my freaking gosh. Pull the worm up and it's completely shredded. It looked like it sent, was sent through a cheese grater. So obviously it was a fish. We're both, you know, me and Marlon are sitting there cussing ourselves, wondering why it didn't stick. That was the most perfect ball gun I've ever seen in my life. You did have a delayed hook set, but. I was letting him eat it. And honestly, I wasn't even really ready for it, but I still, I still reeled down to it and still stuck him. The bobber was completely under the water. So then the very next cast through there, it goes about an extra 20 yards past where I you know, initially got that bobber down. Bobber drains again, completely whiffed it again. There he is, there he is, there he is. That has to be trout. It's gotta be. The thing freaking drains again, sets the hook, misses it again. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? Then it just dies. Like, we're like fishing, trying everything. I am switching jigs, Jordan's switching worms, we're not getting any bites. I finally put this jig on that we like to call chicken So I put this jig on, I cast it out there, it's going through, going through, and it just buries. And as, when it buries this time, I like waited. I'm like, okay, let's make sure it buries. Jordan's like, are you gonna set the hook? Got him, got yes, him. You do. Yep, nice I got him. Too. Good job. <laughs> Damn it, dude. That's persistence right there, man. Dude, I finally got the just perfect drift that you were trying to get. Oh, here he goes. That was just a bear jig, Jordan. No, no, no. Really pretty fish. He's already so tired. Okay. 
now we figured out what's going on. You have to touch him the right way. Look at that. Nice fish, dude. What a beauty. The old red stripe. Yee! So we simplified it up, is what happened. Off the water, yeah. He had giant teeth, too. That Did was he? totally the fish that oh, bit the man. worm. <laughs> that was awesome. We land this fish, first fish of the second day, and then we're excited. We're like, okay, awesome. There's some fish in here. There may be some more in there. We knew they were gonna be stacked up. We actually then switched boat positions. We put the boat in a completely different spot, and we're sending stuff down through, sending stuff down through. We know there's fish in the hole. We had a few different bobber downs in there, nothing. So we give that literally, I bet we were in that hole for two plus hours, just throwing everything at these fish. So I pull anchor, I make two oar strokes across the top of the hole, and Marlin starts absolutely going berserk. Look at all of them, dude. Are you kidding? We just landed on a gold mine. It's okay, they're not going anywhere. Swear to God. There was literally 25 steelhead right there. Did you see all the, Oh there, my God, yeah. They're there not was, going anywhere. Jordan, there was some chromers in there. We're not going anywhere. That's what's not going anywhere. <laughs> you see all of them? Let's go up there above the tree and just hang out for a minute. Give it about 20 minutes. Let them settle back and then let's fish it. I'm going to get one right now. We're uh, still floating this tiny little river. I don't, I have no idea how far we're down it. I've never been on it. I think we're probably maybe a quarter of the way down. And as you can see, it's really small. A lot smaller than what I was anticipating. We're hoping for the best. I think it's gonna be kind of a onesie twosie day. Just kind of pick the water apart, hit the tiny little green water. If you can't see the bottom cast, basically, that's where we're gonna get them, I think. But what we're really hoping for is a couple of fish and no impassable passages because it's extremely low right now. I've already had to drag literally around every single corner, so. Fish. Got him. Trout. Trout. Bam. <laughs> Monster. Crossed his eyes though. They're all sitting like right in there. Oh my God. They're you can yes, they're worms. swimming around in a circle. Shallow up your worm cast over there. You can see one of our worms? That's in the back, Eddie. Oh my god. They're oh, back there? Oh, I can see them now. Yeah, they're just swimming around in a circle. Look at them all. Oh my god. You can see so many of them. They're swimming around like an aquarium, dude. Oh, one's moving over for it. Oh my god. This is going to be hard to leave. There's literally a pod of like 10 of them. Oh, they did not like that. See, you can see the whole bottom moving. Oh my god. Did you see that? This is insanity. I'm about to look at that. I'm gonna hit that one in the face. That is it. He's coming after big it. Big one. He's going. Oh, I got it. Oh my god. Oh. He's still coming for it. He completely crushed it. You pulled it away from him, Jordan. I was freaking out, man. That's okay. Now I got him figured out. He crushed it. There was multiple it. chasing it. He's chasing it again. Oh my god. See the one on it? He's right on it. He's right on it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh my god. Did you see? Oh. This is the one. Oh my God. Oh. I'm just trying not to do the same thing. That one railed it. I really one. wish all you guys could see these fish. It's crazy. Put your spinner in there one more time and then let's rock. It's really hard to leave fish like that, but at the same time, if there's that many of them right here, who knows what's down river, you know? Oh my god, they're all coming right back this way. Yeah. <laughs> I almost hit that one with my finger. Let's go. We're no way. Get... Throw that micro worm in there. I already tried that. Oh my god. Oh These my Smith god. glasses guys are next level. You can see every single fish in the hole, unfortunately, today. Look at them all right here. One's got a jig in his face, in his mouth. One had a jig broken off in his face. Did you see that? It had a bright pink jig. There wasn't quite as many as I thought though. There was 30. Yeah. I can see why they didn't bite though. They're, they're, I, we were seeing the chrome ones. And I got the chrome one to bite. 
he chased it down and totally destroyed that spinner like a coho. Probably the biggest one in there. Too. Yeah, it was. I really screwed that up, you guys. Sorry. That was a really cool experience. Just that was worth it. Now, meanwhile, I think the other boat was struggling quite a bit. They, you know, from, from talking to them, the water was super low, the chutes were low, the fish just weren't there. They were checking in each of the holes and I think they may have had a couple bobber downs, but their day wasn't going very good. The other guys are just killing it. I mean, just straight murdering. Fresh new sea lights, chrome divers. On the hunt, day two, down here in Southern Oregon. Okay, everyone, well, it's almost one o'clock. We finally got down to the lower, lower end of the river where we're gonna spend the rest of the day. And we're basically just hunting. We're learning on the fly. It really kind of reminds me, I've fished places like this before, haven't you, Marlon? Oh, yeah. Where it's like super tidal, super low end of the river, a lot of log jams, a lot of crazy structure, and uh, we might have to sacrifice a few jig heads, but I think once we actually do find another hole like the one we were on where there's just a pot of fish, we're going to be on them for a little bit there. We just got to run into a few. Yeah. We just got to run into a few. That was kind of the hopes is we were going to get down here and hope that the tide was pushing pushing some fresh High fish tides in. at 3.30 today, and it's, it's one right now, so we're working our way down. We've got a couple hours to get down towards tide water, and then we're just going to camp out, see what happens. See what until, happens. Until we have to go, wait for a phone call. There it is. Oh my God. What was that, Jordan? I can't tell with the cheer. Thrown it. Couldn't tell if it was a tree or a fish, and it was a tree. Well, that got the blood pumping a little. <laughs> that got the blood pumping a little, but bent the jig hook out a little, so we need to grab the old Gerber pliers. And bend her on back. Come on, baby. Give us a chromer. Give us a chromer, we deserve it. <laughs> oh, Jordan almost got killed. Did you see how good that buried though? Shoot, shoot guys. That may have been a fishy. Yeah, dude, it's not doing anything in there anymore. It's been through there twice now didn't even like tap got it got her there he is Jordan call that precision fishing yeah. went in there three or four times addicts kept getting bit turns out it was a stick fish little cookie so we're going down, we're not finding much. Like we're starting to get discouraged at this point because we're not finding any fish again. And finally, we're coming down in this hole. My bobber's going through. We're kind of fishing on the fly. Jordan was just rowing. We weren't even pulled over. Did we go down? Yeah, it was just a, the ledge or something. There he is. Ooh, that's a hot fish, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man, that's a nice one. Thanks for dying. Yeah. Like, 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 like dying. Bro, 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 bro. Did you see that little mini tail walk it did? Yeah. This thing's got a lot of life stuff. Oh, he's translucent, dude. Get me out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he just jumped so high, dude. Awesome. This thing is blue. It's blue. It's literally blue. Ooh. That was so violent. God. <laughs> it's 
gonna let him work out. I got a good hook set on him. Oh, oh you talked him right off of there. Took your word. No. I mean, he just pops off and I, I don't know that I've been that like upset about losing a fish in a really, really long time. It was like, it was sad. It Damn it, I really wanted to see that fish. That was a really cool, that was a really cool fish. Oh, that sucks. You freaking kidding me? There's my worm. There's my worm right there floating. Oh, that was a nice, nice fish. Oh my gosh. It was super, super sad, but our hopes were up. We we're excited. We finally ran into some more fish. We think we're going to catch more. So we start rowing down the river again and just continuing to search. Why are y'all wet? Come on, it's been raining out here. Blistering cold. 49 mile an hour winds. Bearing sea conditions. How far are we? We're a ways. We're, okay. into it. We're almost to where I normally put my drift boat in. Okay. <laughs> We're a long ways from the full out. <laughs> that way. Nice. Boogie. Boogie. Still looking for number one. Number one. Still searching. Count putting in our count. best. The water's starting to look a lot nicer down here. Up to high, it was really canyony, super bony, like this deep, uh, and then like 20 feet deep, but it wasn't moving at all. But down here, it's steelhead water. So hopefully we can get in some lower river holding fish. Running low, go low. Running up? Yes, yeah, coming up, coming up, coming up. Get it in the water. I think that just gone. Or... Was it bright? Oh, the one was bright. Like it was blue. Yeah. The old blue back, huh? That's what we call them. They nosed up into the back of the sawed back off log and then it looked like they went under and up. Huh. I, I don't know. I, I kind of almost thought I saw something, but it, it was so fast that it could have easily been just my uh, my brains. We're just cruising together right now. Can you steal that? Holy f three of them. Right here. Hey, get it. Get it. It's right off that bank. There were three. They're chrome. Oh, we gotta stop. We're getting in the fish though. We gotta start fishing. <laughs> they were moving when I saw them. They were definitely, they were definitely sitting out there. Yeah. Yeah. What was that, Mikey? Uh, I think it's a tree right there. Is that a tree right there? I don't know. I don't see a tree. You don't see that branch right there, the light one? Yeah, but you were not there. You were inside of that. Bunch of them. Don't move, just don't move. Don't move. Oh my god, another one. Yeah. You're too pissed off at it. There they are. They were like up in here, dude. Just laying right up in this log, basically. Darn, those were nice fish, man. How many of you guys out there, how many of you guys and gals out there have buddies? that are like Jordan. Every time he's like, all right, let's get out of here. We've run like 30 casts through here. He's like, all right, let's get out of here. And then he'll say, let's get out of here. And then he'll make three to five more casts after he said, let's get out of here. I think he's on number three right now. <laughs> Drop a comment. Let's hear it. Call out your friend. Water was low, fishing was uh, very, very slow. We got a big goose egg. We've seen them though, they do exist here. We just got our asses handed to us, you know. And uh, hopefully it's just a learning lesson and we'll do something different next time. But we got the other boys down there, so hopefully they're kicking ass and they got some fresh fish full of lice. And that's all we could hope for, make this video happen. Oh, 
Hold up. There's a lot of water today, a lot of shallow water. We had a lot of weather out there. As you saw, we saw rain, hail, sunshine, maybe some snow. Lonnie Brooks over there doing the last bit of trash, going for the long haul. Yeah. Don't know quite what we're gonna do tomorrow. It was an interesting day, that's for sure. It was very interesting. The float was started off very unknown to all of us, just kind of dropping over this hillside, kind of into a canyon. It was a canyon, like massive boulders, really tight. As we got into the lower lands, we started seeing some fish. They just wouldn't turn. So it's all right. It's fishing. That's how it goes. Um, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Well, listen, this is a familiar sight, Marlon. Me rowing you backwards through tidewater. Yeah. It was a pretty good day, though. We're completely learning a new river. We talked to a guy who looked pretty local when we started this morning. He said they got two yesterday. And we actually had quite a few opportunities. You know, when Marlon landed one and a half, I screwed up about three or four times. It wasn't that long of a float, so. We learned, we came, we conquered, we landed a fish. We saw some fish, learned a new river. I enjoy myself. That's always the best part, is just seeing a new, a new well, place. Well, we were successful, man. There's probably people who have fished this river for years and never caught one. You know, you gotta take the little victories. I really wish I would have seen that Cromer, though, up Got close. To touch it. I wish I would have seen him up close. Most of the fun was over. The ball were down, the hook set. The fight was damn near done. I just wanted to touch him. All right, so the rest of the day ends up being, we don't find much. Jordan's kind of rowing down the river. We're still continuing to just search buckets and look for fish. And eventually the river just runs dry and we finally end up getting to the takeout and we didn't find any more fish. But again, it ended up being an amazing day anyway. It was really cool to see all those fish in the hole and see how many fish in that system. And you could just imagine if this river had water in it and it had color and depth, it would have been a slaughter fest. It, it would have been amazing. So it definitely motivated me to want to go back again and fish down there again. And I feel really blessed to meet a couple of the anglers that live down there and thank you for showing us your home water and we appreciate the hospitality. Everyone down in Southern Oregon was amazing. In fact, when we got to the takeout, we ended up running into a fan, an attic fan. Shout out to that dude. He gave us a ride shuttle back to the, to the Yakima Ranger so we could get that thing and, and tow the boat out and go plan day three. All right, guys. Well, it sounds like the other the other crew of boats didn't do too good. It sounds like they struggled. So us only hooking a couple wasn't too bad, Jordan. And getting to see that amazing amount of fish in those holes, that was pretty freaking incredible. So we're going to go rally with the other guys, figure out what the plan is for the rest of the night, and figure out what the plan is tomorrow. So follow us along. Him. Him, baby! Nice little hatchery steelhead. Oh, nice one! Bro, one! Finally, my Southern Oregon steelhead. First push of the trip! Another SO beauty, man. Look at that. What a fish.